Want to learn more than just what to do in Split Croatia to plan your trip? Great, because this one-stop shop travel guide comes firsthand from my Split Solo Travel to get you ready, covering essential tips like best time to go, where to stay, how to get around, day trips, budget tips, and more. Traveling beyond Croatia? Check out all of Cord Travel's videos and subscribe to get the best in travel guides, itineraries, and tips that, yep, all come from my actual travel. All right, let's get you ready for your unforgettable vacation and split. Why visit Split? Croatia's second largest city, Split Start hails from the establishment of Diocletian's palace in the 4th century by the Roman Emperor Diocletian that today rests in the heart of Old Town and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This ancient city's history and Roman ruins begs to be explored. The Croatians' knowledge and enthusiasm of their home is infectious. Ask any local about Split and they'll proudly regale you with historical facts and stories, not to mention great recommendations on what to do in Split. Nestled between mountains and the Adriatic's crystal clear waters, Split's stunning landscape provides an abundance of land and water activities, a jumping off point to explore local islands, and some of the best beaches in Europe, as well as incredible cuisine and wine. As the locals like to point out, the region is the origin of the Zinfandel grape. I love Split. Trust me, you'll be planning your visit back to this Dalmatian coastal city before you even leave. Time of year, holidays, and events affect the best time to visit. Split's year-round temperatures average from the high 30s to high 80s Fahrenheit. Peak season months are June through August that have the warmest air and water temperatures, the least amount of rain, and longest days, but also have the most tourists, causing crowded beaches and higher travel costs. Low season months are November through March, which have the coldest air and water temperatures with the shortest days, but also have the fewest tourist and lowest travel costs. Shoulder season months are April, May, September, and October, which are the best time to travel due to long days, warm water and weather, and fewer tourists for more space on the beach and lower travel costs than peak season. Festivals and events happen year round and can impact costs, so check split schedule when planning your itinerary. Number three, getting to split. All flights arrive at the Split Airport, which has one terminal, and is 23 kilometers from the Split City Center. Split has two train stations, the Pregadria and the Split Main Train Station, which is the most convenient being located close to all ferry departure and arrival points and a five-minute walk to Old Town. Buses arrive at the Autobusni Kolodvor, or main bus station, next to the main train station. The largest passenger port in Croatia, multiple cruise line ships arrive split every day and dock at the Split Riva Pier, making it busy, so plan plenty of time for your arrival and departures. And 29 international domestic and ferry routes pass through Split's ferry port for both passenger and car ferries. To get around Split, let's start with getting from the Split Airport to the city center. Without a hotel shuttle, the quickest and most convenient way is by vehicle. Uber and Bolt rideshares pick up at the airport main road next to the public bus stop and cost about 25 to 30 euros. Taxis are at the entrance and cost about 30 euros and both take about 25 minutes to reach the city center, depending on traffic. Private transfers could cost the same or more, but can be arranged online in advance. See some links to private transfers below for your convenience. The blue Plezo Prevost airport shuttle is six euros, paid online or to the driver. It runs 7.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. and takes about 30 minutes to reach the main split bus station. The number 37 public bus costs only two and a half euros, but it's not as convenient as the airport shuttle. Water taxi rides are 20 minutes to the city center, but it's a 10 minute walk to the taxi dock and costs about 120 euros. And you can rent a car at the airport, but it's really not worth the cost or trying to find parking. Now in the city center, let's talk about getting around the city center. Split is very walkable, with many of the top things to do accessible on foot, and the old town and palace are comprised of narrow, stone, pedestrian streets filled with restaurants, bars, hotels, and shopping. A large portion of Split is flat, so you can explore outside the old town by bike, e-bike, scooter, or Segway. The public bus network is extensive and runs daily from 5 a.m. to midnight, making it another great way to go beyond old town. Buy a ticket for the entire day and explore the parks, historical sites, beaches, and more. 
Serviced by eight companies, Split Ferries go to 26 destinations, making it easy to explore the surrounding islands like Kavar, Brock, and Korkula, full of history, culture, food, wine, and more beaches and water activities. You can explore Split and beyond using any of these methods self-guided, or learn more about Split and the region while meeting other travelers by participating in a food, wine, or historic walking, biking, e-biking, Segway, or island tour, all of which are fun at any age. I have links to some of the best rated tours in the video description below to get you started. Number five, safety tips. Split's crime rate is very low and I never felt unsafe walking alone day or night as a female solo traveler. Still, always just practice general safety precautions like walking in well-lit areas and keeping your belongings on you at all times, with bag pockets closed and no cash or valuables in your pockets, especially in crowded or touristy areas, drink water, stay hydrated, and keep alcohol consumption at a moderate level, especially if you expect to be diving or doing other water activities. Wear sunscreen always in the shoulder in peak season months. And don't stay out on unpopulated beaches alone or past sunset. Bring only essentials with you and never leave them unattended. Other than that, Split is considered one of the safest places to travel. Make your Croatia travel as easy as possible and bring these travel essentials. A VPN service for data security, portable Wi-Fi or get a Croatia SIM card, a solar charger so your devices are always charged on the beach, boating trips, or other excursions. A reusable water bottle to fill up at the tap to stay hydrated, reduce costs and waste. A hat for any time of year. Comfortable walking shoes for walking, hiking, and the Croatian pebble beaches. Sunglasses with UV protection. A monosling bag to keep your valuables safe and stay hands-free while traveling. A waterproof waste pouch to keep your items with you in the water, not unattended on the beach and a thermal phone case to keep your mobile device from overheating in the sun. I have links to some of these travel essentials for you in the video description below for your convenience. Number seven, where to stay. The Split City Center, or Old Town, is where it's at for first time stay, for quick access to must-do attractions, dining, nightlife, and transportation to outside the city. Visiting Split, I look for a central location for easy walking, good price amenities, free cancellation, breakfast, overall ratings, and a travel sustainable rating, sustainable certification, or at minimum, a variety of sustainable practices. Checking all of these boxes and more, my top hotel choices to consider and split are Cornaro Hotel, Jupiter Luxury Hotel, Heritage Hotel Santa Lucia, Hotel Slavija, and Starlight Luxury Rooms. I stayed at Starlight Luxury Rooms on my last trip to Split. Conveniently located close to Diocletian's Palace, I had a large, comfortable room and bed, an incredible concierge, nice breakfast, and a reasonable price. I would definitely stay there again. Going the hostel route, with the same great options, in either a private or dorm style room, try Hostel Split or Hostel Devor. Links to all of these great accommodations are available for you in the video description below. Number eight, top things to do. Split has much to offer, so all sites and activities can't be mentioned here. But here are definitely some of the top things to see and do in and around Split. Yes, there's more. Don't forget to put these, at a minimum, on your Split travel itinerary. Split's Adriatic location and long history is reflected in its cuisine, with Italian, Turkish, and Hungarian influences offering a diverse culinary experience. Seafood is a staple in Split, so don't miss the dishes made from scampi, mussels, crab, and octopus, often served with sides of spaghetti, gnocchi, or risotto. Sample the local cheeses, Dalmatian prosciutto, fresh olives, and of course dipping fresh breads into the delicious Croatian olive oil. Dine with, or just sip, Dalmatia's renowned wines, like whites made from the pull ship grape, or luscious reds like the Plavac Mali. For dessert, try powdered sugared fritters called fritile, 
or well, whatever satisfies your sweet tooth. Split is blessed with a plethora of dining locations. Beaches have cafes and bars so you can lounge all day without having to go anywhere. Fresh produce like the local grapes and figs are a must try at the grain market. For authentic Dalmatian dining and rustic charm, hit the local Kona bus. Diocletian's Palace and Old Town Streets hold wine cellars, bars, and an eclectic mix of outdoor cafes and bistros for a blend of Mediterranean and international flavors. For seafood specialties with a picturesque Adriatic view, dine at any of the Riva Promenade restaurants. There's a lot to try. Wander the streets to read menus, or just ask your concierge, waiter, or a local for their recommendations. And add in food and drink and culture tours with tastings to help mix it up. When the sun sets, Split's nightlife scene ignites. The lively Riva Promenade has trendy bars and cafes for sipping cocktails by the water, as well as beachside venues and nightclubs with DJs for dancing. Although not customary in Split, it's good to check to see if your bill has a tip included. And if not, you may round up the bill to the next euro or tip around 5% for casual dining or up to 15% for fine dining if you feel you had good service. Always tip in cash, which you can just leave on the table. Split will inspire you to want to see more of Croatia. Trust me. Fortunately, Split is ideal for participating in half and full day excursions and tours to enjoy more cuisine, natural landscapes, history, and culture. You can start with any of the surrounding islands, such as Havar or Brak, with the renowned Golden Horn Beach, or go beyond with a day trip to Trogir or Kirka National Park. Also doable are full day trips to Plavica Lakes National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, or Dubrovnik. There are more day trip locations to choose from. Many can be done self-guided, by private tour or group tour, which make it easier to see more of Croatia while meeting other travelers. I have great, highly rated day trip tour links for you below to get you started planning. Number 11, budget tips. Split is not as expensive to travel as some other European cities. Still, if you're traveling split on a budget, keep the following in mind while booking and traveling. Visit in the shoulder or off-season months. Travel during the week, avoiding holidays and large events. Book your accommodations very early and or stay outside the city center, still within walking distance or close to a bus stop. Depending on time of year, location and amenities, a hostel dorm room can start at 15 euros and a private room at 45 euros a night. Take the airport shuttle bus to and from the airport. Avoid dining in high tourist areas like Old Town by shopping at a local market and booking a room with a refrigerator. Purchase a Croatia or Europe eSIM or SIM card instead of a costly international plan through your local carrier. Bring cash to avoid the pricey ATM fees. And take advantage of splits, beaches, parks, and free historical cultural sites. Travel Croatia with your eco-friendly foot forward and the plan in mind by using any of these easy eco-travel tips that do make a difference. Look for flights that emit less CO2 through your airline or through Skyscanner's Greener Flights Filter. Purchase carbon offsets through your airline or third party to lower your flight's carbon footprint. The less you pack, the lighter the plane and the less fuel it uses, plus traveling carry-on saves time in the airport. In addition to Booking.com's travel sustainable properties, Green Globe and Green Key Global also have eco-friendly certified lodging options. During all phases of travel, including on a food tour, Reduce your plastic trash and your carbon footprint by bringing your own reusable shopping bags, water bottle, and bamboo travel utensils, which take up very little space in your carry-on bag. And bring marine safe sunscreen with you to protect the Adriatic marine life. Number 13. If you're still with me, here are your valuable pro travel tips just for split. Croatia has switched from the Kuna to the Euro. The water is safe to drink and split. Croatia's beaches are pebbly, not sandy. Many beaches will have eateries, cafes, or bars, outdoor showers, restrooms, and lounge chairs and umbrellas for rental, but will go quickly in the peak season. Split has free Wi-Fi in the airport, public buses, and in many public areas and beaches. Heads up, there are some nude beaches there. Some places only accept cash, so bring plenty with you. The locals are very friendly and helpful. Ask them for recommendations on anything to do or avoid. Drink plenty of water in the peak and warmer shoulder season months. 
the best time to visit Diocletian's Palace is first thing in the morning during peak season to avoid the crowds. Many smaller establishments and activity offices use WhatsApp for communicating and notifying you of any scheduling changes. And locals may speak English, however, it's common courtesy to lead a conversation in Croatian. If they speak English in return, that is a courtesy. So how much time do you need in Split? The amount of time to spend depends on your interests and activities you wish to undertake. Split's Old Town is compact, making it possible to see attractions and scenery in one day. However, for a fuller mix of historical sites, beaches, water sports, cultural and dining experiences, and adding day trips in a relaxing manner, a week in Split would be ideal. If you don't have a week, however, I recommend spending a minimum of three days in Split to be able to engage in the local top things to do with at least one day trip. Now that you know your way around Split, would you like a great itinerary to get the best of Split in those three days or four? see my link below for using my amazing split itinerary that does all the planning for you for your first time trip to split. You'll love it. I really hope you enjoyed my 15 top travel tips for split Croatia. And if so, like this video and share it, subscribe, and don't forget to stay notified so you know when the next great travel guide videos are coming out. If you want some more information on split and Croatia travel, don't forget to check out all the links I have for you below in the video description. All right, take care and have a wonderful time in Split.